And the residents tell us they were given a little over a day's notice to move all their stuff and get out. Commissioners say the power was shut off on the property today and it's unclear when the motel will reopen. There's like five or six families here because there's no housing. Cave Junction resident Leanne Brame was scrambling to find last minute housing Thursday after she and 23 other adults and children were forced to move out of a local motel. It's a week before Christmas. We have a two month old baby and we only live here because we can't afford to get into a house. So the reactions Pretty scary. Josephine County Community Development Director Mark Stevenson says the county's decision to condemn Junction Inn didn't come at an ideal time, but was a health and safety emergency. There were children staying in some of the rooms permanently with their families. You know, a real serious situation. He says the motel's fire alarms weren't working, the water may have been contaminated, and electrical cords were tampered with and exposed, making the entire building a fire hazard. Separations between the space across the attic had been opened up to where if we did have a fire in that attic, it would have spread to the whole complex quite quickly. Josephine County Commissioner Lily Morgan says the county reached out to the motel owner who lives down in California nine months ago. When they were given a list of things that were safety concerns, not one of them had been addressed and more issues uh, have been piled on since then. Although Morgan acknowledges the decision displaced families right before the holidays. She says it's amazing to see how the community came together to help secure shelter for the families in need. Most responses have been thank you. This needed to happen a long time ago. County officials say they spoke with the owner of the motel today. They say she is willing to comply with code and regulations necessary to reopen. The five families who were given temporary housing will have a place to stay until the end of the year. Live in studio, Amanda Rose, NBC5 News.